We have indeed. Look at this beautiful chameleon. Look at that. And this is a big flap neck chameleon. And it is always wonderful to see them during the day. But this is huge. Just to give you an idea, I don't want to chase him now. I think if I put my hand close to him, he'll probably move. I'll show you how big it is shortly. But he is a very, very big flap neck chameleon moving up this tree. And, and wonderful. I mean, you can see those those pads and the claws, they've actually got little claws, help them grip obviously. And that prehensile tail, have a look at the back here, beautiful prehensile tail which means it's able to use it to grasp onto things, use it as an additional limb, hold onto the branches, and can curl it around there, and then those eyes which move around independently. This is a fascinating little creature. And off it goes, but it's obviously very successful because it's so big. And look how it moves. You see that stag staggering uh, m motion? They do that so that they blend in slightly with the branches, the movement of the branches. It's all to try and evade predators. is wonderful. There he goes. And also what they do is they sit on the edge of these branches like that so that if a snake or something comes it, it, they can often pick up on the vibrations and these chameleons what I've what I have seen and heard of them doing is they'll almost leap off the branches maybe to some other branch will drop out of the tree to get away from a predator like that but that, it's well camouflaged there I don't think anything will see it it looks completely safe up there and as I said it's a large chameleon that chameleon full length with its tail is probably about that long now that body was about that big now that's very large for a flat neck chameleon so that was really special so from this ground lion to Jamie's lion.